Hey, Tech Enthusiast. In this video, I will be showing you the amazing power of Olama. In three clicks, you can literally have almost any AI model from Hugging Face directly running on your computer. Best of all, no GPUs needed. Okay, so let me show you guys right now how do I do that? Okay, so here we go. Let's open a new terminal window. After you install Olama, this is how powerful this thing is. Boom, there you have it. That is Olama. But what? What, I, what do I need to do right now to be able to experience the amazing AI power? Just ask a question. And there you see it. It is amazing. It just generated that under a fraction of a second. And it is very, very, very good. This is the Mistral model, as you guys can see. And you can run almost any other model, including uh, multimodal models, which are able to run uh, to see images and process images real time on your CPU. No need for a GPU, which is very expensive, very hard to find a GPU nowadays. So let's read this real quick. Python is a high-level interpreted programming language that was created by Guido von Rosum and first released in 1991. It is known for its simplicity and readability, making it a popular choice for beginners and experienced programmers alike. So as you can see, it is very, very powerful and it can code. Um, I'm going to get the price of Bitcoin in Python. There you guys see it. It can code and a lot of this code is very similar to GPT-4. It is, it is obviously a 7 billion parameter model, but you can run up to 30 billion or even 70 billion parameter models totally locally on your computer. No need for internet. And this is amazing, guys, the power of this. So that aside, let's go into the main project that I wanted to show you guys using Olama. This is how you can use Olama on Python. Okay, so this is the Chroma DB. This is the database that I'm using um, to store vectors to convert um, PDF documents into vectors and then um, be able to query that PDF regardless of it having uh, any structure. It can come in any structure, shape, or form. Basically, as long as it's a PDF, it will be processed because I'm using, I want to step ahead and I didn't just use a recursive text splitter. I actually used a semantic text splitter and I'm using uh, AI to split the text. I'm using BERT to split the text in a way that is coherent, logical, clear. Um, why? Because recursive text splitting is just splitting the text randomly. Doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the sentence or at the start of the beginning, it's going to split the text. And then when you query the RAG, your database, you're going to get um, un uneven responses that are not clear, that are, are not intelligible because the text was not properly organized. So that is fixed with this technology. And I am using AI to split the text properly and then we're, stro we're storing it in a Chroma database and it works really fast, completely offline. Olama is creating the embeddings. Um, so it's converting it. As you can see here, these are embeddings that I printed out on the screen. They're very good and they are compatible. You can choose the ones that you want, just the same way you would do it with a vanilla Python project. Um, I do have a vanilla Python uh, projects. Uh, for doing rags, for doing chat PDFs. This is a chat PDF project, and it is very powerful. I mean, the sky's the limit, what you can do with this, guys. Um, you could do many, many, many applications with chat PDFs apps. So here we go. Let's run this thing and show you guys. I'm going to query my resume, and I'm going to ask it, who is Johnny Rodriguez, which in that case, that's me. So let's see. So it's initializing. It's going to create a temporary rag. It's going to query that temporary rag. It 
It's going to format the text on that document. Here's the formatted context. As you can see, it is already intelligible and well-structured text. It is not garbage in, garbage out with most other rags, which is a very, very hard problem that usually happens when putting them in production. We don't want to have that issue of messed up text. So here we go. I'm inputting the question into the uh, conversation array, and here we go. Here's our response, and we're going to print that response, and it is very clear and intelligible and smart, not like other regs where it's, it's just a mess. It's just hard to understand what is going on because of the improper text splitting, which is something we can totally forget about now using this technology. And if you guys want access to this project, which I've been working on lately, um, I can provide it for you. Uh, the link is in the descriptions and you can please support my channel. Um, it is production ready and I can help you install it and use it on your computer. If you so need so, or if you need to integrate it on your project, I'm also available for that. And uh, check it out, check out this response. Johnny Rodriguez Cardona is a software engineer with experience in various programming languages, including .NET, Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and data science. He's seven years of experience in full stack development and mobile development. Johnny is also recognized for his exceptional leadership qualities and strategic planning skills as an ENTJ. In addition to his software engineering background, he specialized in developing generative AI models, MLOps pipelines, and robust web applications. So as you guys can see, this project is working very, very well. And if you guys have any questions, please put it in the comment section. I would gladly help you guys uh, integrate this. If you have any, if you need anything, just let me know, guys, and have a great day.